Morning, El Camino. It's Pastor Bruce. We have uh, just started our series, a uh, new Christmas series on when God messes up your plans. Last Sunday, we talked about Zachariah and Elizabeth. And this Sunday, we, we pick up the story with Mary. And um, when she finds out the news. And so I was thinking about, you know, how her response was. And, and of course, we're going to talk about it this Sunday. But um, the impossible nature of what she was being told. And what do you do when whatever it is that you're dealing with at the moment seems impossible? You don't see an answer. There does not seem to be any logical way that any of this is going to work out. And yet, you must trust God in the impossible. Uh, I was reading from Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah chapter 32, and it's actually verse 27. And the context is, Jerusalem about to be conquered, Judah about to be conquered, uh, Babylon coming in, and the prophet, uh, Jeremiah. And, and he, he's being held captive by the king of Judah uh, because he's telling people, you're not going to be able to stop this, that God is doing this, and, um, but yet God has something even bigger in mind. And, and there's a whole story that goes along with it. But, but this one verse crosses a lot of lines. Here's how it reads. It's Jeremiah 32, verse 27. It says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too difficult for me? That kind of sums it all up, doesn't it? He is God, God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for him? No. So it's good to be reminded when we're faced with our life situation that God has a purpose in it. No, not all things are good. There are some very horrible things that take place in life. Very difficult. And yet, God is in the middle of it. And in those moments where you don't know how it's all going to happen, you can still trust Him because nothing is too difficult for Him. See you soon, church.